What's going on everybody? My name is Chris and welcome to my new Let's Play. Now, first things first, you will notice this is a bit different. Uh, I don't have a title. Or at least my title is something obscure which really doesn't state the game. And this is because I know if I did put the game, it's probably would get very many views. I, I mean, I don't get many views to begin with, but I mean even less than normal because people are like, Pfft, I don't want to watch this stupid crap. But listen. The reason I'm keeping it a secret is because this is actually a fantastic game. It's one of my favorite games from my childhood. And at first glance, it's not gonna... It's, well, actually, it, even at first glance, like, it's not that bad of a game. And by not bad, not that bad of a game, I mean it's a fantastic game. Give it a chance. I would even put this game, um, on the fun scale at least. I, I was gonna say more put together than, like, Super Mario, some of the Super Mario games. It's not really, there's, there's, there's a few glitches in this game that make it kind of like, uh, they probably should have fixed that. But this game is probably like, like I was saying, it's probably a lot more funner than like Super Mario Bros. And that's saying a lot, because I love Super Mario. Um, so without further ado, click the game. Now let's see what it is. Now like I said, give this game a chance. Okay, so here it goes loading. This kind of gives you an idea what it's gonna be. I should have to do some clever editing there since it seems whenever I click a game on my Wii, the reloading of the game actually causes my recording capture device to crash. For some reason, I don't know. Actually, that's not what, it corrupts the footage though. So that sucks. Um, I'm gonna have to keep talking over all this. <laughs> Like, more than usual, more than I would normally try. That's right, it's SpongeBob SquarePants. And I'm actually skipping this as quickly as I can. Because copyright, you guys can't hear. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Okay, so we're gonna press start. Oh crap, my freaking room. Ugh. I forgot to plug in my controller back into the Wii. It's on the GameCube for freaking Pokemon Yellow. Okay, I'm back. Um, the game is an auto feature. Yes, yes, yes. Oh no, I pressed no by accident. I think it asked me if I want all. Oh, well, that might suck actually. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Oh, snap. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well! <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command! One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius? Answer yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! What a brilliant checklist. Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on. Lighting. I want to get a photo for my scrap. Oh, hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Oh, snap, Plankton. You silly little no, goose. No, no, no. Wait, you should probably include that on your checklist. I'm your master! I made you! No! No! Oh, my good China! What good China? This is a freaking gigantic bucket. Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah. Only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great That's if we silly. had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Junior, or Zorlon, or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the Frankie? Robots I wonder if that's a here? reference. Oh, how shellfish of you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys probably see why I love this game now. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. 
So, okay is the magic wishing word? You said a lot of words. I'm a alabala wisna tiki tana fushbar griddle bits von Wiedeschnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure. Well, Last if it was week, that, you just said it. I only had one big cookie crumb, and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell. Then I said the magic wishing word and shook it. And in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, what? I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best Where's this one coming ever? from to push my tie? Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning. The next morning. Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play he with He sleeps wow. in his clothes and not under his blankets. Uh, what? Gary, did you do Your that? Your bikini bottom stinks. That's a sex joke. <laughs> Your bikini bottom stinks. Yep. Okay, so that's yeah, Gary, there's really not much for sure cutscenes in this like game. We're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Yeah, you probably wow. will. Okay. So it kind of sucks that there weren't subtitles. Idea. These at least for the um, tips to help being part out. of the game. But um, it seems to be I from now on there will signs. be subtitles. Wow. Oh, you read the signs by pressing R. Come back and talk to you again. Just yeah, walk tutorial up to you stuff. I'm button. back now. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. See, look, he didn't. Ca they didn't capitalize the I and I think. You see that? Yeah. Okay, so we start off at SpongeBob's house here, and we're gonna Breaking need news. what? Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent oh, of robot horror. No. A raging boner so of robot much horror. So fixing this quietly. <laughs> <laughs> Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the radical <laughs> well, menaces, but they have assured us that the person <laughs> is in big, big trouble. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did I say big trouble? <laughs> I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble. Yeah. I'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds. Tragically. Oh, tragically, I'm sure. You can also hit the TV and change the channels. It's, it's weird. It's scary. Okay, I have to say the same thing. Okay, if you check the TV uh, periodically through the game, it will change. Door is locked. You only one golden spatula. So golden spatulas are the stars of this game. If you compare it to the Mario Galaxy, um, there's also these. There's two different kinds of currency. There's the star bit. Uh, no, not star bits. <laughs> Shiny objects are called. A note from Mr. Krabs. Woo! And it even smells sweaty, just like him. Oh, he's Ahoy definitely there, a very sweaty Bob. guy. As a and they changed Mr. Krabs, Krabs' voice for this Krabs, game, you've been, which is weird. Uh, everyone sounds pretty good. Promoted to head shiny object collector. Yeah, everyone wow, sounds pretty good, except Mr. Krabs sounds very right, not a promotion. accurate so to his role. So what this job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Yeah, now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. Okay, so yes, there's the star bits, which I guess you would call the coins of this game. And you do, you are going to need a lot of them. Especially this bonus content I towards the end of the game. And if you want to do that, you're going to have to grind like crazy for hours upon hours of time. Use a C controller stick to move to see like, you know, unknown objects. You could double jump in this game, which is pretty fantastic. Um, what else is there? You bees to attack. Well, your attack is a um, fishing rod, or not a fishing rod, a jellyfishing net thing. <laughs> um, there's also some also other moves you will be able to get. Yes, yeah, so when you use, uh, I keep wanting to call them star bits, but no, they're shiny objects. When you use them, you actually do, like, they leave your inventory. And we're back into our room, where we can jump on the bed. Oh, no, we can't. I thought we could. Oh, we can't jump on that, though. Whee! That's one of our bonus moves right there, actually. If you jump, uh, as long as you're in the air, actually, if you press X, you have this game's version of the butt This is a pair of SpongeBob's underwear. SpongeBob will lose a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot or touches a dangerous object or surface. Like this. <laughs> Once SpongeBob lost all his underwear, you must start that area over again. SpongeBob may get back the underwear lost by ch uh, by collecting additional ones along the way. SpongeBob started wearing three pairs of underwear that are special pairs of golden underwear, hidden bikini bottom. Uh, if found, will allow SpongeBob to wear more than three at a time. Okay, we'll get more to that later. I feel like a new sponge. I bet you do. Oh, it's Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. So, I don't know how many of you actually watched Spongebob when you are younger. I certainly did. It was one of my favorite shows. 
I saw like every single episode all like multiple times. And I was always excited for new episodes. I never knew when there was gonna be a new episode though, so whenever whenever there was, that was a shock to me and I was super excited. Um, press the B button. Yeah, these are tiki's. Uh, push button to defeat most robots, blah blah blah. These are tiki's to drop um whoops. I keep wanting to call these star bits, seriously shiny objects. And that's there's a plenty of tiki's in the game, yeah, that's explaining the butt bounce. So like a switch for this example. We're gonna go to this switch first though. Press B to activate switches. Yay! Why did SpongeBob have these up in his attic? Who even knows, bro? Yeah, I like his bookcases. <laughs> so yeah, this game I actually played a lot as a kid. It's one of my favorite games. I actually just played this game recently, and that's saying a lot because I don't really don't play much of my like most of the game, most of my Nintendo games at least. I don't really play too much anymore. Um, but this game I actually played during, just during the summer, which is definitely new. Uh, we see this Viking home symbol. If you press Y, you do like an upward strike. It's like, like I said, that's a different kind of tiki, so that's already the second kind of tiki we've seen. Button is the most satisfying. Activate push, the ball, push, push, push. a little ball, volleyball balls, balls of steel. Okay, well, you're supposed to push the ball over here to this switch since you can't reach it normally. But another thing you can do is actually jump on this door here. Oh! And successfully hit the switch. There we go. And that activates. Actually, a third type of currency I forgot about is in this game. No. Oh, great. Okay, you can stop with that, sir. All right. So we should have enough time here. The game starts out pretty easy, like most games. But of course, it will get a lot more difficult the longer you play. Socks, lost socks. Will will be explained momentarily. But they're pretty much actually the third currency of the game that I did forget about. Um, yeah. Now we all have enough uh, shiny objects to reach inside that door. Credit, yeah, all right, let's go inside here. And it's our golden spatula! Yay! And the whole SpongeBob's closet would just consist of nothing. But the exact same thing he wears all the time in his shoes. <laughs> uh, ooh, what's, what the heck is that? That's a rubber ducky. Uh, other buttons you can press is Z to get on your stats on screen. Um, C controller moves. Oh, you can also move with a D-pad, which I'm doing right now, which is weird to do. And there we go. Press start to uh, pause. One thing you can actually do in the pause menu is you can teleport to any level in the game. Just just give you an idea of how many levels are in this game. There you go. And just saying, the levels in this game are massive. Like, even compared to games nowadays, these these are freaking massive levels. It's insane. Um, this game was came out in 2004, actually, so uh, it's a bit of an older game, but it's definitely like one of the funnest games of the game. Go away, SpongeBob! You're polluting my uh, thinking space. I love the sounds of my Time neighborhood when it's Plankton. Happy Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've oh, got snap. bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure well, out how to like control robots. the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Is mystery. Where? Um, they came from my magic conch shell. For me, oh no, it's all Patrick's fault. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. <laughs> Those assholes. They even bent all my spoons. <gasps> Not the spoons! I spoons like they were my children. How dare they? Terrible. I agree. Oh, won't you help me stop them before they bent all my forks? <gasps> no. Not, Not the, the forks. forks. Of Not the force. I'll help. Oh Wait, no! I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. What? What gave you that idea? Golden you just found one. Spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, what? if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. Ooh, how big's the bucket? <gasps> Asshole. You've got a oh, you've got a deal. It's really easy to cut people off. So. Here's the first area of Bikini Bottom. There's Mr. Krabs over there. We have Squidward's house, Patrick's house. We also have a whole bunch of levels. Um, actually, you know what? I was, yeah, you know what? We will have the, the episode here. In the next episode, we'll start by exploring this very vast area of Bikini Bottom. Jellyfish! Yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. I never did actually say the name of this game. Yes, it's SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. You see, there's Patrick over there, and there's something shiny over him. If you were keen and watch, caref watch carefully, you'd have noticed there's actually something shiny on top of SpongeBob's house too. How did he get up there? I guess you'll find out on the next episode. 
So like I said, yep, um, I'll see you guys next time. I really hope you guys give this Let's Play a chance. I know it's a Spongebob game, and you're gonna have to give it a shot because, well, if you don't, it'll be sad because it, it really is. This is really like an underrated, fantastic game on the GameCube. So, till next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.